Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer from Fuller's. It was kindly sent to me from Adam Driver at Fuller's. Thank you very much, Adam. Uh, this is from the Griffin Brewery, Fuller's. It's a 2011 bottle conditioned vintage ale. There you go. Batch number 074411. 8.5% ABV, check that out. I don't know if you can just see there. See the line there? See that there's a, there's a little stain around this label. Basically, um, the, the beers were sent and a clumsy postman broke a bottle of 1845, which I was really looking forward to. Um, it spilt unfortunately over the label, but I'm very, very pleased that this beer survived the journey. We're going to be sticking it in a, a nice, I really like this glass. Stick it in a Fuller's, I, I just really like that. There's nothing like pouring a good beer like this at 8.5%, pouring it out into something which is just that little bit special. Wow, look at that. Look at the conditioning. Look at the condition on that beer. That was just phenomenal. I hope you got that. One finger head. It's dark. It looks rich. It's copper coloured. It's amber. There's a hint of a redness in there as well. What a lovely looking beer. Levels of carbonation there if I can just show you. There you go. It's just a nice level there. Just ticking away. Doing his own thing. There's a little bit in there. I'll just show you what a bottle condition beer looks like later on. A bit of yeast in the bottom if you're new to real ale. Um, let's get the nose then. Sweet cherry. I'm getting sweet cherry in this beer. Sweet cherry, sweet cherry, and more sweet cherry. I'm going to get into the taste. Looking forward to this all day. Thank you to Fuller's. Thank you to Adam Driver. Cheers. Oh. Now that's different, that is very different, that... There's another beer that Fuller's Brew which is 8.5% ABV, I believe it's 8.5% and that's their Fuller's Golden Pride. Now with the Golden Pride you get a really big, thick, almost rich, like... It's a very thick mouthfeel. This is a different beer entirely, it's not meant to be a, a Fuller's Golden Pride, but this is, compared to the Golden Pride, very thin. It's designed to be a different drink, which is supposed to be, I mean, what's the point in brewing two of the same beers, or two beers that are near, and, and, and calling them different names? It's a thinner mouthfeel, but at the same time, it's still got that. When, when you wash it on your mouth and swallow the beer, it's still got that slides down your throat. Um, not like an oyster, nothing like that. It's, nothing, it, it, it's just, it does leave its mark on the way down. It does still coat everything on the way down, but not as thickly... Uh, not as much, should I say, as the Golden Pride. This is a thinner beer. I've mentioned it twice now. I'm going to guess Cascade. I'm going to guess that they've used the Cascade hop in this beer. The reason is that I just get that, that hint, that level of bitterness and hoppiness that 
suggests that this cascade it kind of veers towards being a grapefruit flavour but I'm picking up a lot of cherry, sweet cherry. What I'm finding remarkable about this beer is that in a million years you would never ever dream about thinking that it was 8.5% ABV. It, it, it is drinking like a 5% session beer, it really is. Into lemon. The sweet cherry would be the fruit. If I can try and dissect that flavour of the sweet cherry, it would be the sweetness of the malt combining with the what I believe, what I think. I would be like David Cameron. What I believe, <laughs> not be like David Cameron. What I think is probably going to be I do apologize I was talking about the flavor I just got interrupted um, back to the beer now what I was talking about was the sweet cherry and that was that was where I, I what I think is that the sweet malt is combined with the hop which I believe is cascade and it's just mixed together and it's giving you that Hoppy, sweet taste. You've got bitter and sweet together, and if it's combined to give it for me is a is a nice cherry tone to this beer. This, I'm trying to compare the beer. I, I probably shouldn't because it's a beer in its own right. But I've compared it to Golden Pride, I've compared it to Special Reserve Number 1, Special Reserve 2, Special Reserve 3. And it's nothing like the four of the beers I've just mentioned. This is a, a completely different beer. And it's this probably harks back. Look at it. Let me just. I've interrupted myself again, but I just want to show you the condition of this beer. Look at that. Look at that, isn't that wonderful? This is probably an old recipe that's full of, of digging, dug out of their their records, their vast amounts of records which they have um, at the brewery. From a, This is a beer, I think, from a time gone by. <coughs> I haven't read anything about this beer, so here we go then. The 2011 Vintage Ale, our 15th, is brewed with some of the finest of this year's malt and hops. The malt grist includes a proportion produced by Warminster maltings from organic barley grain by Sir James Fuller on the Neston Park Estate. This will be married with choices Goldings Organic First Gold and Award winning Sovereign Hops to produce a beer with a firm malt base, marmalade notes and a satisfying bitter finish. They say marmalade, I'm, um, I'm picking up I'm picking up cherries but everybody's got their own taste. That's what makes this whole beer reviewing, beer drinking experience unique to every person who drinks beer is the fact that everybody is going to get different tastes. The person who's tasted this and put the tasting notes on the back of the bottle has picked up marmalade. But it's just, it's your own personal preference. Individually, packed and numbered, this bottle is one of only 150,000 produced. Although we are obliged to state a best before date of 2014, like a fine wine or whiskey, this Mal Goldner would improve with age for many more years. It certainly would. Being bottle conditioned, the beer will form a natural sediment, so pour carefully, sit back and enjoy this.
the very finest of Fuller's Ales. The very finest. Do I agree with that? Have I had better? I'm finding it very, very classy. It's a very, very classy beer. Is it better than Golden Pride? I loved Golden Pride. Tronic, I, I, <laughs> in the middle. I think the mouthfeel is perfect. It's not too thin, it's not too thick. I think the mouthfeel is absolutely wonderful. I think it's better than the Brewers Reserves. I really do. They were, they were quite different. They had whiskey and, and cognac and another whiskey. So I'm not a huge whiskey fan. So I think I prefer this over them. I'm thinking about Golden Pride now. I really, really enjoy Golden Pride. Do I enjoy this more? I think the drinkability aspect of this beer tells me yes. But I think the flavours of the Golden Pride to, says no, perhaps not. But if you combine the two together, then I think it's level pegging with the Golden Pride. I really, I really do think that. Um, if you're new to real ale, chucking it all over the place, um, bottle condition beer is, is in the bottom of this bottle, is the second fermentation process happens in this, in the bottle, where they, the brewer leaves live yeast in the bottom of each bottle, it eats up all the, the rest of the sugars in the beer, and it produces a little bit of sparkle to the beer. Now, to be honest, I am not picking up any yeast in this beer at all. It is discoloured. Now you can see it's a little bit discoloured, so the yeast is very fine. But time for the rating. I think I'm going to give this... between an 8 and an 8 and a 9. I really am stuck between an 8 and a 9 out of 10. I'm going to give it 8.5 out of 10. It's very, very nice. It's, it's a lovely brew. You wouldn't believe in a million years it was 8.5%. The mouthfeel is almost perfect. It is perfect. I really like the mouthfeel. It's in between a thick beer and a thin beer. Um, I really do think Fuller's have put a lot of effort into this beer. So I'm giving it an 8.5. Um, you can check Fuller's out at www.fullers.co.uk. Thanks for watching me. Put your comments in the comments box. I'll always answer. Subscribe if you like and cheers.